Oh shit. Oh shit. It's like a fucking it's like a forge in there. She's fucking I guess that's why they call it a rocket stove. Can you hear it? Holy shit, she just fucking choochin'. Steam coming off of her. The concrete, I guess, is not completely dry yet. Or maybe it's condensating, I don't know. But let me tell you, she's fucking hot. I can't touch that top at all. She's so hot. Sides are hot. The exhaust... What exhaust? What smoke? What chimney? This is fucking clean... Clean, burnt fucking emissions right there. I'm inside of the shop. That is the chimney. What comes out is like a little bit of... A little bit of uh, steam, moisture, it's 100 percent, maybe not, maybe not 100, but 99.9 percent .9 fucking efficient with clean emissions. Very clean, very hot. Actually, it burns better with the lid on, which is kind of weird. Oh, yeah. Those corners have never been this hot. The stove has never been this hot. She's fucking... She's rocking. Rocking on pellets. Just a fucking choochin. Good lord. Got a fucking thousand degrees right beside about 20 different gas cans. Fucking zero fucks, 29th gear. <laughs> you know, just enough, just enough gas cans for a small explosion. These things are pretty safe though because like there's a lot of heat but it's all in it's all in there. It's like there's concrete here and steel here and a tube inside of another tube and exhaust coming outside. It's pretty safe that way. There's like no there's not very many red hot surfaces that you can burn yourself on or fall into. Pretty handy. I'm still learning this thing. I'm gonna build a different pellet feed.